Well, welcome everyone, and thank you for coming. I know this is being uh, live streamed, but it's nice to see people out here also. Uh, I'd like to give special thanks to Erin, who is leaving. Bye-bye, Erin, thank you. She's the one that screened you. And to John, who's working in the back, he's the one that works his magic to put this on uh, WLH, and also to uh, show slides. I guess you need to get the screen down. Okay. Um, it's interesting, the, uh, we have these slides of the song titles, and I love the, some of these old song titles like Autumn Leaves, Cheek to Cheek, My Romance, When I Fall in Love, and one reason I'm not playing c currently popular songs is I looked up some of the top songs today, I don't know who decides this, are Dance Monkey, Godzilla, physical, here's one that really sounds cheery, deathbed, and savage. And maybe you know some of the artists like Dua Lipa, Doja Cat, Eminem, I have heard of Eminem. Maybe it's because I eat the candy. Uh, Maroon 5, and Pofu, and Bia Butterby. Thank heaven I grew up in the era of the songs that we're going to be hearing today. Uh, George Shearing, these are not songs that he wrote. Well, one of them he wrote is Lullaby of Birdland, and I will be playing that. But these are songs that he has recorded. And I started collecting his recordings back when I was in high school. And sorry to say, some of these songs I have not played since high school, so if they're a little rusty, <laughs> I, I, I apologize. Uh, but George Shearing uh, had a profound impact on me. He has a very unique style of mixing swing and bop, and also he has classical training, and he works some of that into, uh, into his music. Uh, he was born in London just over 100 years ago. He was born blind to a, uh, a, a large family. He was uh, the last of six children, and his mother cleaned trains in the evening and his father delivered coal. But he did start playing at age three and uh, in 1947 he emigrated to the U.S. Uh, I happened to, uh, when I was in the Navy, I happened to get to New York City uh, several occasions and saw him play at the Hickory House. And uh, I was really blown away by his music, a very distinctive style. Um, some of his first songs, too, that he's remembered for that I will play are September Song and Lullaby of Birdland. Uh, he, he had a uh, great love of classical music and also played with some symphony orchestras. Uh, he remained fit at age 75. He uh, received a medal for his work. At age 90, he was uh, knighted by the Queen and he commented, he said, so a poor blind boy from Battersea in London is now Sir George Shearing. He said, if that isn't a dream come true. And uh, he was just that kind of person that I've heard him talk a few times that would just give you warm feelings. He was just so uh, much in love with music and with, with life. So, uh, if you haven't heard him play, I hope you'll Google him or look him up on YouTube, and I can assure you it will sound much better than what you hear today. Can we dim the light? You dim the lights, John?
this picture. <laughs> Thank you.
forgot how to pray for you. I'll do it. <laughs> I thought, this isn't the song. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shearing said he wrote that one in 10 minutes. I can't believe that. That shows what kind of genius he was.
Sorgen. 